Now, David, it is my firm belief that a rat... Can you see the lion? It's on your screen, yes. Oh, wonderful. Well done. Now, that's, that's good news. Now, that is a stroke of blind, blind luck, everyone, and I'm hoping desperately that that lioness has got behind her three little cubbies. Let's go and have a look-see. Just quickly have a look at the Hippopotamus with his friend the Grey Heron. That's Gareth the Grey Heron on Bob the Bachelor of Biffle's Hook. And who the lion is, I don't know. This is wonderful. I can't believe it. I really had no idea. As you came live here, I looked on that little spit of land, that little uh, peninsula stretching out into the great vastness of the Biffle's Hook water. And there was the lioness. Ha ha! Now, this is grateful joy. Let's see if the little cubs are there. I don't see any cubs, do you, David? No. Nope. That is distressing. Right, let me stare into the abyss with my binoculars. I see another lion. There's another lion there, Dave. That looks like the young Kuhuma lioness. Who are these? Can you see the other one, David? Nope. Go down to the right-hand side. In the shade there, there, Your Honor. Zoom in there. Got you. Now, everyone, we're not at the, we don't have the long lens here. I'm looking at that one with my binoculars. I don't know who she is. She looks quite young to me. And she looks like she's been mangled. Yeah, she's got lots of injury or mange around her face. She's just laying down. She's definitely lactating. Whoever that female is is lactating. This is fantastic. I wish I had a very long camera lens. Let's just sit here for a little while. And then we'll go round and see if we can get a better view there. If our signal breaks up, I might tell Brenty that he would be benefited by coming to here but I think he should be alright we should be okay for now and I know that our signal is strong where we're sitting now but that's because we're on the damn wall and we're gonna have to try and get a little bit closer around the other side isn't this wonderful it's so nice when you get a surprise like this when you're really not expecting it at all especially after Dave and I came past here what, Dave? Three or four times this morning? Well, twice. <laughs> and found nothing. Yes, and Aaron, you're absolutely right. Catterday, Saturday. Thank you, Aaron. Alright, I'm going to take, try and take one picture and then let's see if we can get a little bit closer. I don't know which ones. Okay, let's go around. Just so that the female on the ground there is definitely lactating. There's another lioness there. there there's another two lionesses there. There are four lions there. There are lions everywhere. This is amazing. Orbs, there are four lionesses now here at Bifflesook there. Now, where are the cubs? I mean, as much as we are fascinated by the adults, it is the littler ones that we really love to see. So we're going to be able to see here who's... It looks to me like there are at least two lionesses lactating here. In fact, there are five. <laughs> there's another one there's another one there in the bushes yep. that looks like a male can you see it there yep. it's a male in the bushes there everyone and he looks like skinny pom-pom to me you got him there yep yeah right Yes, thank you, X Ranger. You say with utmost skill and most amazing talent, James has managed to find the lions. Yes, exactly. I drove with great skill 
to Bufelsuk Dam, whereupon I spotted the lions in the open. Well done me, pat on the back. Ah, the male just kicked some elephant dung onto one of the females, who looked up in this deep concern. Now, if you look, that one there that you're looking at, whose belly you can see, she's definitely lactating. You can see she's got swollen teats. If you look at the one that just rolled over, she too is showing evidence of swollen teats. And I wonder if they haven't come across here, perhaps to have a drink. And maybe those cubs are not too far away. And maybe that, you know, you know what, this muck on their faces is blood. I think they've been eating something here. It wouldn't surprise me if it was still quite close by. Oh, very nice, David. One of them is now relieving itself. Lovely. Now, everyone, I know I've mentioned this before, but if you ever want to smell something deeply disgusting, then lions are the way to go. That's wonderful. Got off the peninsula, walked down, stepped up to her friend, and is now weeing on her face, basically. That's uh, really classic lion behavior, and this is why I am unable to see lions as royal, but far more as gangsters of the bush. This is fantastic. Now, Taxon told me that he had tracks coming this way earlier. We had baboons alarm calling here earlier. Yeah, she's definitely eaten that female. Now, Aaron in Florida, you're interested in how on earth lionesses who both got babies would be able to differentiate between their babies if they're the same age. Um, a, I don't think that they necessarily do, but B, if they do, it would be purely from smell. I think they can smell the difference. Um, you know, lions can hear each other's voices. They know the difference between each other's voices. So I don't think it's that hard for them, you know, to distinguish their own. Now, I'm going to attempt a move to get a little bit closer, everyone. If we lose signal, I'm sorry, but we will manage to get it back, I'm sure. But as we go down 